So this will definitely go down in the 2023 calendar of travels and tours and places as most probably in the top three. Just look at this man. Yes, see. On the edge, baby, standing on the edge. Woohoo! This is. Um, I think I need to take a, a dictionary to get enough words to describe this place. This is magic. This is. It's not even magic. It's 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 mind blowing. It is. Look here. Look where I'm at. There's Ubuntu. Check Ubuntu. Imagine my view tomorrow morning from my tent of the sun rising. Hey, but anyways, this is a uh, Christmas Eve. So tomorrow morning, we're moving, looking for another hidden gems like this. But this is one of those places you don't want to leave. But the night is bright night, Christmas night. So yeah, everybody. So right in front of our campsite, this guy just caught a mule of a big fish. Maybe we'll see it. So yeah, we're gonna throw lines in as well. If they, if they can catch fish right in front of the campsite. And they're not far from, from us, like really, really close. I think we can catch some fish as well. So yeah, we're gonna try now. He caught a beautiful, beautiful fish. And not only that, people are collecting mussels. And there's guys with spear guns. So the seafood and the fish is in abundance here. So we might uh, there's some just locals try that doing ourselves. cliff diving. So if you come with us, you can come do a little bit of cliff diving yourself. It looks more like a check at that one. Yo, there he goes. And another. So yeah, this is just uh, outside our campsite here. Lekker, lekker Christmas Day activities. Almost reminds me of a uh, of sales pass, but this is how we start this morning. We saw this beautiful little town, so we just had to come down to the town to come see what it looks like. Because this is what travel is about. It's about exploring, you know, looking for new places. So apparently there's an old church, an abandoned church or a building. So let's go see what it's all about. But a lacquer bikey down into the town but just look how beautiful it is from here and uh, don't go over the edge you will roll a little bit um, I wonder what is in that ponds maybe salt I think they're making I was probably making salt here but let's go check it out so this is the building that we saw from our campsite Looks like uh, most probably a church from the Portuguese era. But let's go investigate. But um, I found this spot. We'll go see now what that is. That just looks so inviting. We'll go have a look to see what that is. But uh, first, let's explore. So as you can see, the stairs to the second floor. That's long gone. But it is. Um, like to hear what the story is. It, it seems like almost a prison on the bottom. But I would like to hear the story of this old building. It makes for beautiful, beautiful pictures. And then it went into like two towers on this side, uh, connected most probably the second floor with a, like a walkway to enter the doors on the top. But um, that could to find hidden gems like this now to find out what's the story. Just look at these trees. How is this for a perfect, perfect campsite? 
I definitely gonna investigate to come camp here. It just looks incredible, incredible and lacquer, especially on a hot day to camp here. And there's the beach not far from here. So I will definitely investigate this in future for, for camping here. Let's uh, explore the little town. So this is um, what we saw from our campsite. Um, if, you, if you watch the previous videos and photos, you would see that we've seen this little bay from our campsite. And now we're here just to explore a little bit, but it's right on the beach. You can drive right onto the beach. And there's like a little bay with fishing boats. We saw some of them going out yesterday. Oh, and that one, that one wasn't so lucky. Where is that one that I just saw now? Now that one, that one's going down. But what a quaint, beautiful little town. And this looks like a, like a local restaurant. There's even a pool here. But everything looks like really deserted. Um, the language quite a big barrier but this is wow beyond wow so this is where the fishing nets get repaired and stitched together before going out but we saw something very interesting from the top of the house when we were there small model craft boats so uh, let's go see it almost looks like perfect model sizes there's three of them fishing trawlers on this little pond here and there they are how beautiful is that in these ponds so we're trying to find out what are they doing in these ponds i think it's salt lakes getting pumped here and then getting pumped to smaller pans there in the back there's no feature there's two shallow for fishing so it must be salt lakes producing salt here now oh, we even uh, found this old ship wreck um, it must have been here for for many many years and all that is left is like the really big parts the engine blocks um, the gearboxes and all of that but how's this piece of stainless steel the only shiny piece of everything is, is rusting away. This is proper, proper stainless steel. That's not rusting away. But uh, always lucky to find these gems. We have just arrived. So this will be our campsite, but right on the beach and uh, we'll definitely definitely go and take a dip and a nice cool breeze so everybody that was so concerned and said you're gonna die of heat in Angola not this is um like an overcast and a really like a cool breeze blowing in from the Atlantic there's lekker man so there's power there's water what do you want more? There's nice ablutions. Let's camp. So let me show you Angola MacGyver plan for getting electricity. So that taps onto the open wires and all of them are like that open. So crocodile clamps to a Brad Harris. And the Brad Harris giving life to the plug. And the plug giving life to Ubuntu. We have power. Hey, hey. Burma Kaplan. Okay, Gine. Listen up. Oh, wow. Look at that. If you want to, if you want to have a lesson in cooking an ice bind in a 12 volt oven, come to it with me. I will teach you. Just look at this ice bind. Mother's hair. No, it's born up a tree time. Yo, this looks so, so delish. Mm. What does it look like, Katrin? Best is of the best. But taste. Have the fork, please taste and tell me. Oh, no shame, mate. You know, I must give you some of my mustard. Zemf. Yeah. 
So, uh, I wanted to put in yeah, yeah. Tell me. Mm. 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 Ja, ja, ja. Come right, come have a taste. No, 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 there's isn't, there's isn't enough. Mm. 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 No. Yeah. Let's just eat. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, thank you. Right? Right. Yeah. And now we're going to lekker. <laughs>